In Hindu mythology, Rati is the goddess of love, lust, passion and sexual pleasure. She is exceedingly beautiful, and feminine who rides upon a horse. Rati is considered to be the main consort, and female counterpart and assistant of Lord Karma, the god of love. She is often depicted with him in legends and temple structures. Both Rati and Karma represents a couple in perfect love, harmony. They symbolize the ideal of perfection in love, and conjugal relationship. The name of the goddess Rati comes from Sanskrit, meaning enjoy or delight in. The word refers to anything that can be enjoyed, but it is always used to refer to sexual love. The Kalika Purana narrates the birth of goddess Rati. After the creation of ten Prajapatas, Lord Brahma creates Kamadeva, the god of love from his mind. Kama had been given the task of spreading love in the universe, by shooting his flower arrows. Prajapati Daksha is requested to present a wife to Kama. Kama shoots his arrows against Brahma and the Prajapatis, who are attracted to Lord Brahma's daughter Sandhya. The god Shiva who was passing by watches them, and laughs. Embarrassed Brahma and the Prajapatis trembled and sweated. From the sweat of Daksha rises a beautiful woman named Rati, who Daksha presented to Kama as his wife. However, at the same time, Lord Brahma curses Kama, to be charred into ashes by Lord Shiva in the future. After Kama pleaded forgiveness, Brahma promised him that he would be reborn. Lord Shiva went into deep sorrow after his wife Sati's death, and returned to his ascetic ways. Taking advantage of his absence, the ferocious demon Tarakasura caused havoc in the universe. He had been granted a boon, that only Lord Shiva's son can slay him. So other celestial beings instructed Kama to make Shiva fall in love again. Kama went to Mount Kailash with Rati, and shot his arrows at Shiva and invoked desire. So, Shiva becomes attracted to Parvati, the reincarnation of Sati, since he was also disturbed, burns Kama by a glance of his third eye. The grief-stricken Rati went crazy because of her husband's death. She performed severe penance, and appealed Parvati Devi to negotiate with Lord Shiva to revive her husband. Goddess Parvati assured her that, Lord Kama would be reborn as Pradyamna, the son of Lord Krishna and Rukmini. She advised to proceed to demon Sambara's house to wait for him. So Rati assumes the form of Sambara's kitchen maid Mayavati, and awaits for her husband. Sambara is also foretold that, reborn Kama would be his destroyer. The demon figured out that Kama was reborn as Pradyamna, son of Lord Krishna. He abducted the child and throws him in the ocean, where the child is swallowed by a fish. The fish is caught by fishermen, and sent to Sambara's kitchen. When the fish is cut, the child is found by Mayavati, who chose to nurture and raise him. The divine sage Narada disclosed to Mayavati, that she was goddess Rati and the child is Lord Kama. As the child grows, the maternal love of Mayavati transformed into a romantic love of a wife. The reborn Kama initially rejected her advances, as he regarded her as a mother. Mayavati revealed the secrets of their previous births. She informed him that he was the son of Lord Krishna, and not her son. Mayavati tutors Pradyamna in the art of magic and war, and counseled him to slay the demon Sambara. Pradyamna, eventually slayed the dreaded Asura Sambara. He returned to Dwarka, Lord Krishna's abode with Mayavati as his wife, in their original forms.